No. Where's Talia? There's two. How the hell is anyone supposed to afford that? All anyone ever wants. Fresh cups! Come! Come! You'll not find a bruised pig. Need to stock up on these. There you are, Talia. Ah, and we shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a bus, if time is of the essence. Perhaps we should... All right. Let's see now. Why don't meet me by the gate when you've got them? Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. I won't have Oi, don't touch anything. If that's what you want. Thanks for nothing. much, but you're free to look. Ah, oh, yes. Keep fighting the good that should fight. Do it. Hopefully Ty is finished too. Well? I did. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be wait. Bus, we're not in too much of a rush. Do you know? I think this is the very first... <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here. I'll ask Karen when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was... Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. Thank you. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us... Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it... But in the spirit of... You're appreciated too. I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to... T I'll meet you back at the hideaway. All right. I heard you the first time. how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Thanks to see it. How's work on the shield? Well, very well indeed. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions. <laughs> I'm sure. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway. Under the watchful eyes. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Manny? Of course.
Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is all... A shame. I was enjoying play. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be followed by a rigor. Perhaps someone ought to warn young... Leave it to me. Thank you, Arbog. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Sorry to keep you... You'll be pleased to know that work... You found something for it. In a manner of speaking. Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly... He's supervising the construction and testing of the... Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me... Don't thank me. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt to the Black Hammer! You know, when I go into this... I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo -da. Displacements. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this out, so Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll... On my way. Oh, and bring me the... <laughs> It's finished! It's finally finished! Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in? What's the matter? Nothing. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off out, searching for a land untouched by the Blight. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the Twins turned black... That's what she was meant to be. You see, but now she's so close to being finished. I've I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, in a world where we're not... I'm working on that, and I'll do everything I can to get... <laughs> All right. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting it. Are you sure about Something tells me it's what my dad. He'd be proud of you. You, um. You were good. I was. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Aye, aye, Captain. Mid told me she was building a ship. 
Clive. We would finished sending half the Idaway troops in across the Twins, has she? No, excuse me. Not quite. She said that? She. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Is that the thing Tomes helped to build? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. <sighs> then I'm... Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just pay... <laughs> Got some... But anyway, I was on my way up to see you. Got a letter. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men... Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh... Well, the next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Got to admit that just like when we built... <laughs> anyway, we all set to head to... Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining... She's got some things to take care of. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It 
wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad Market. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank Bye. you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Torg will help too. Thin you, boy. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today.
thing. Really? Oh, why? There's trouble. I take it there's... Oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? Oh, no doubt. Well met, friend. How does a merchant... Oh, the man's a coward. He sent my brothers right on all accounts. We may have seen our share of action, true. You, however, chances are... Well, if I'm going to have to deal... You've clearly got a fine head. We're lucky you... Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, reckon he won't be forking over... All right. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take... <laughs> Look lively, you lot! No. We've got guests! These must be our bandits. It's over! Over here! <laughs> That's them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? <sighs> Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done... It's been... There's no need... What if... See the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Enough of you are there. Go! 
So this is Zemeckis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. Tell the truth. I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task.
There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> hmm. Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast.
Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. More refugees. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are to form a line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. My peaches. Yes. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Show them your trailer's pass. Oh, good. Clive, uh, I'm... Slow down, good. It's me trader's pass. It's... We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to... Do you remember? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this... <gasps> I, I know where! No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find... She's the owner of the crimson... No time like... You two go. I'm gonna check... All right. I'll take them. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Out of my sight, wretch! Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Don't go, El! He's me mate! 
As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the f which means traders passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes and with demand outstripping supply, They've become a precious... Co so the children are stealing passes to sell on... Yes, passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is dot the same someone who is encouraging... ...and the same someone who has goods. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of... Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass, And we will catch whoever... Is there any other way? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't... So either we find the people... All right. Thank you, Cl uh, But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with... The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is Spear. I suggest that you speak. The furniture makers. Snake spit for the road. Juicy pears! Slake your thumb! Are you the furniture? Looking for something? Ah! And Louise collared you too. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpocket. For one, that they're targeting the traders, carrying the harder to what not that they'd be likely to catch them. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger, round by the gate,'s been trying to track down the children involved. Thank you. find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life... Fish for sale! Can I interest you? Ah. She's asked me to help her. To help you. Is that so? For one, this isn't a family opera. Street urchins, by the sound of it. Orphans from the war. A few, perhaps. They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. A shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but... It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Come, taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! 
Excuse me. Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked... Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do. So guess what I'm about to tell you? Sorry. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking. I don't know. Nobody's... What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No. Uh, you... So if they come calling... The caravan stops next to the check. Show them your traders part. <sighs> what do you want? It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. Well, we've heard that some very bad... We need to know who's behind... I don't know much about it, really. He said he got a job. Doing sounds promised. We need to find him in a Do you know where your friend? He's usually by the tent. Thank you. Come on, come on. Peaches and pears. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. That's that, then. She must have meant the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy! <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to the... Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter! Where are you going? So that was Hunza, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. I need to find him before his employers do. Did you see a boy run past? There was a boy ran back there. Thank you. It's all right, Hansa. I just want to ask. <sighs> Fine. I call themselves the Car Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but Britain didn't come at all half the time. Before I started buzzing, you know, if I didn't do it, they just pick on someone else, someone they could pick. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> You're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it... Whatever you do to me, I can't get it. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for... Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Master Theo. Huh? Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless... you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? 
I'm just a back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Theodore, what do you know of the vultures who have made Balklad their hunting? They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with... I've been looking into their activity. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most like Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help, but then, then we all want the same thing. So, what else? We f you get your traders passed back. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. We'll try it. Back down the road towards Leighton. To Leighton's Cleft then. Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have known the hero. They don't deserve any more. I wasn't planning on shit. We're ready when you are. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, God. 
And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the... We should go and give Eloise the good... Of course. Oh, and, uh... Be sure to tell her of the part I play. We'll be glad to. Clive. Quite the opposite. And their demise solves three problems. I only hope yours is among the items. You are too kind. Here, Clive. Goods is passed. I will. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of... Can I count on your help in sort? Of course. I expect you'll soon be on your way, would it now? Don't look so shocked. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we... For a small fee, we will be that goods to market. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as... I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand. And who better? Wouldn't you agree? I would. It seems our purpose is the same. So what would you say to work? It would... And our honor. The honor is up. What is it? El has friends in high places while I... 